Welcome to My Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. What better way is there to make personal connections than through your iOS devices? Koi Vin and his designers over at Lasco Company Incorporated have released the second iteration of Mixel, this time for the iPhone. The application borrows a few features from Mixel for the iPad, but for the most part, Mixel for the iPhone offers an entirely new user interface. I'm going to open Mixel and navigate to the home page. Here you can scroll through all the latest posts. Each post includes a tiny profile picture encased in a circle, a username, and options below for leaving comments or posting to social networking sites. The icon next to the home button is where you can find posts by friends, popular posts, and or posts by newbies or recent members. This is very similar to the way Mixel for the iPad was laid out, with My Mixels, Popular Mixels, and Updates as the three options. Continuing along the bottom, the second icon from the right is where you retrieve your messages. Here you will find a list of all the people who have liked your Mixels. And to the right, is where you will find your profile page. And here, you can browse through all the Mixels you have created thus far. You can check a list of your followers with an option to follow them in return. It's also fun to have immediate access to the post you have liked. So I like having this as a separate tab. And last, there's a tab with a list of the people you are following. I have really enjoyed Mixel so far. I have begun to post a series of Mixels related to famous artists throughout the history of art, and I think I only have about a million to go. On the profile page, there's a settings button at the top right that enables you to update your account including bio and Twitter account information. Of course, the fun part is creating your own Mixel. You begin by simply clicking the plus symbol at the bottom. This was also a design feature carried over from the iPad version. To begin, you have the option to select the camera icon or to import photos from your libraries. In addition to your camera roll, you have the option to import photos from Instagram and Facebook. For this demo, I'm going to access my camera library and pull up some photos I took during a trip to the Grand Canyon. You can choose as many as 18 pictures. Once the images have loaded, you will notice two buttons along the bottom a button for style, and one for shuffle. The options appear limiting at first, but you have a wide array of options for customizing your photo collages. For one, you can select each individual photo and pinch and zoom and reposition inside each frame. When you select the style button, you have the option to choose six different styles. Bento, cereal, milkshake, and I really like the milkshake option. Oatmeal, takeout, and pepper. I also love bento, and I think I've used this one the most, so I'm going to continue with that style. Once you have selected your style, you have the option to explore numerous image configurations by selecting the shuffle button. You can scroll through what appears to be an infinite number of options until you are satisfied with the arrangement. Sometimes it pays to be patient. In some instances, you may have an idea of what you are looking for. You already have a hierarchy of images in mind, or the random positioning of images may surprise you and compel you to select something entirely unexpected. I didn't have this configuration in mind, for example, but I kind of like it, so I'm going to go with it. Once you are satisfied with your composition, you can press and hold on any photo, wait for the jiggle, and move to swap with other photos. When you are ready, click post to send your project to the Mixel feed. 
you can add a short caption, but be mindful of the number of characters remaining on the bottom right. When you scroll to the top, you will see the progress of your upload, although this usually happens very quickly. And before you know it, you have joined the Mixel community. Again, you can post a comment, like a Mixel by selecting the star, or pressing the return button to save to your favorite social networking sites or your photo library. If you want to delete one of your Mixels, select flag as inappropriate. Double tap on the home button on your iPhone to delete the open application and reopen Mixel. One of the coolest features about Mixel is the ability to post photos as part of a thread. When flipped in horizontal mode, you can swipe back and forth between your images and you will notice that Mixels appear as one continuous image. Even other Mixlers can add to the thread. Kudos to the designers for putting this feature together. And finally, here is a quick slideshow of some images I have posted thus far that I saved to my camera library. I have become so addicted to Mixel that I have created 80 Mixels so far. I know, pretty insane. You will enjoy Mixel for the iPhone. The user interface is simple, yet immensely enjoyable. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of My Apple Podcast. My name is Tim Brown. You can check me out at myapplepodcast.com or check out the YouTube page at youtube.com slash myapplepodcast. See you later.